All right, let's look at the first searching and sorting problem in CSES, uh, distinct numbers. So we're given n numbers, and we need to calculate the number of distinct values in the list. So for example, this input has 2 and 3. That's the only two distinct values, so the answer is 2. Um, and there's uh, 200,000 numbers, each up to a billion. Um, so this is a perfect application for a set Stream, and we're going to do a set stood using uh, equals n64 t. Okay, so let's talk about what a set is. Um, so a set is another type of container, right? We looked at vector before, which is a list um, container. A set uh, stores unique values. Um, so if uh, the point is that if you insert an element that's already there, uh, then it does nothing. Um, so our approach is going to be to add all these numbers to a set, uh, and then output the size of the set. Read in the number of numbers, read in each number, insert number into a set, and then output the size. I'll just copy this input um, into a file so that we don't need to run it all, or type it multiple times. Uh, and we get two, which is the right answer. Um, yeah, so by the way, I just to find out about sets, I just Google C++ set, which gives us um, this reference site, which is pretty useful. They have good references for um, all of the parts of the standard library. Um, and we can just see the API down here. Uh, you can sort of guess maybe what these functions do by their names, but you can click on them if you want to see more. Um, so here we're just using insert uh, and size, which tells us how many elements there are. Um, we'll cover more of this in later problems, probably. Um, for now, we can just submit this and see if it works. Uh, cool. So it looks like we got everything right. Um, so that's this problem. Uh, right, very straightforward if you know about the concept of a set. Uh, and that is in the standard library. Um, I'll just cover one other way to do this problem. Uh, if we didn't have a set, we could use a vector. Um, so we can declare a vector with n elements, each of which starts with 0. If we do it like this, it declares a vector that's empty. Um, but the nice thing about pre-declaring uh, the size is that instead of reading into a local variable, we can just read into um, you know, each index. Right? So this says, read in a value and put it in AI. Uh, and right, so this, um, now we need to count the number of distinct elements. Uh, so we're going to sort the list. Uh, and so the idea is that we're going to go through and count all the elements that are different uh, than the one before it. Um, and because they're sorted, right, the point of this is to group all the elements that are the same together. Um, this sorts from high to low, although it doesn't actually matter for the solution. So the first element always starts a new group, and then we're just looking for the elements that start a new group. Um, but apparently this was wrong. So let's add some debugging output. Ah, 
should come out answer instead of eight outsides. Of course. Okay, cool. So that got two. And we can comment out the debugging. Um, and now we can submit this. Okay, cool. So that gives us a totally uh, different kind of solution that doesn't use a set um, and instead use vectors and sorting. Uh, and the reason this works is that we want to, wait, this groups them um, all the same elements together and this just counts the number of elements sort of group. And we start at one and we skip the first element because the first element always starts a group. Uh, so that's it for this poll.